Hey guys, it's Sky from the Score Esports, and today I am with Darshan. Now, congratulations on your win. Surely it was like a little intimidating for you guys because it was very back and forth. What were your thoughts? Were you scared that you guys actually might lose the game? Um, honestly, like playing the whole game, like once the game started, it really felt like we were in control the whole time. They were kind of scared. And when the other team is playing scared, you kind of know that you're most likely going to win the game because um, just playing the game, I felt like I could do whatever I wanted in a sense, and uh, I wouldn't really get punished for it. So it felt like we were going to win um, pretty handedly. And what are your thoughts on Matt and Dardock? They're the new rising stars of Team Liquid. What's your aspect on that? Um, I think um, it's nice to have players like that in the LCS because they play really aggressive. They try to go for plays early, and a lot of players don't do that as much in the LCS because they're more scared. They're on stage, like this is serious, and people get scared. And I don't really think they get as scared. And um, Dardox going for aggressive plays, Matt's going for aggressive plays, and they're working together, and that's great to see. So I think they're going to be really strong towards the end of the season. Now, for you guys, you guys did not choose to bring in a lot of imports to North America. I mean, a lot of people were kind of crit like there's a lot of critics for that. They were saying that you know you guys might be the middle tier team, but you guys been had a great start. What are your what kind of words could you say to those people? Um. Whenever the season starts, everyone's going to look at, you know, the players who got the big name, like Frog and they're going to look at Double if Bjergsen, they're going to look at, um, who are some other big players? Uh, Forgiven, like just all these other, like, players with big names are going to look at those teams and be like, these teams are going to be great. And, you know, you look at CLG and the big names aren't as big as some of the other teams, but I think we've got, like, the formula down for what we need to do to improve. And we may not be first at the start of the split, but I think towards the end of the split, we're going to be the best team and we're going to win playoffs. Now, scrim-wise, I know you guys have been playing with a few of the NA teams. Who might you say is the intimidating team right now? Um, I think TSM has been playing a lot better, which is good. Um, and Immortals is probably the, those two teams are playing at around the same level. I think Immortals is a little bit better because I think they've got a really good grasp on the game, whereas TSM is still working on stuff. But I think those are the two top contenders and it's great to have those strong teams because you can just learn and play them. Now, you guys got to play, what I've heard is that you guys got to play patch 6.1 a week before it came out. What are your thoughts on the patch? Are you dissatisfied or satisfied with anything in there? Um, hmm. I think so far, so good. I think Graves might be a little strong right now. I think Fiora is still a little strong. There's some champions that are really strong right now, but and Tom Kench is ridiculous. But um, besides that, I think... Um, there's nothing too bad. I kind of like the direction the game's taking. Like games are faster, in my opinion. Not as like not that much faster, but they're a little bit faster. And I feel like a lot more champions can be played. So that's always great. Now, team-wise, what do you personally think is the most important thing that teams should value? Communication, etc. Um, I think the number one thing teams can value, or like any individuals can value, is like the ability to just push yourself as hard as you can and strive to improve. Because a lot of people, you know, when you start losing, you're not doing well, that's when they give up. But I think the best teams are the teams that every single time they lose, every single time they're playing bad, they push themselves, they pick themselves back up, and they try as hard as they can to improve. And like, that's where like champions are born. That's where like the best players are born. You don't like, Faker isn't amazing because he's just been that good. He wasn't gifted like to be that amazing. He plays the game probably more than almost anyone. And like, if you want to be the best or you want to be like one of the best players, you have to put in like more work than anyone else. You have to try harder than anyone else and you have to have the best mindset. And that's what I strive to do. And I think that's what you should do.